Welcome to Bears in Exile. Today is July 18th, and it is the market overview. Looking at the Dow, SPX, VIX, XOI, TNA, UUP, FXE, GLD, and SLV. And we had an ugly day in the market. Fortunately, it was able to recover a chunk of it, ending us with this hammery looking structure body could be a little bit smaller tail could be a little bit longer but uh, that is what it is beyond that uh, we still do not have significant crossover on the short-term moving averages we did not close below the f the forming bullish bar stochastic gain above the 20 RSI gain out of overbought area MACD histogram still ticking down MACD yet to get a bearish crossover 60 minute we still have these divergence in the stochastic still have the divergence in the RSI still have the divergence in the MACD histogram we did uh, take some damage today in that uh, one of the peaks was exceeded on the stochastic and one of the peaks was exceeded on the MACD histogram but the longer term ones are still in effect they're still good SPX ooh same hammery looking candle not pretty not perfect um we did close below the uh flatline bar and uh stochastic has not reached the 20 yet our side clicking down macd going into negative macd uh histogram going into negative i should say macd getting the cross not good um, 60 minutes still have our divergences in effect still looking for a bounce and who knows when it's going to show up beyond that I was looking for 1306 at the close and we fell just shy of that unfortunately but uh, there you have it the VIX ended up with a little miniature inverse hammer so uh, that does correlate nicely with the Dow and the SPX. We did touch the upper Bollinger Band and came off of it. Stochastic ticking down, RSI ticking up. MACD histogram uh, fluctuating, MACD still pointing up. 60 minutes, still have the divergence in the stochastic, the RSI, and the MACD histogram. So, um, still waiting. XOI. Mm. This one does not correlate well today with the regular indexes. Uh, we have a hammer, and um, would have been better to see that lower, but uh, we got it here. So anyway, that's uh, that's oil. I guess we'll see what it does. Um, at least it is. Uh, we have the bar here and it's bouncing off of it. That's the uh, best spin I could put on it, but uh, really um, would have preferred this in a lower position. TNA, faster on the way up and faster on the way down. Um, how did this get in here? Taking up too much room. Okay. Um, so, we did not end up with a hammery looking structure. Uh, stochastic ticking down, RSI ticking down, MACD crossing bearishly, MACD histogram going negative. Ugh. Ugly. Well, if the market turns around, at least this should turn around faster. <laughs> We will see, but uh, you can see also that it kissed the lower Bolger band and went up. So, 60 minutes, still have divergence on stochastic, divergence on the RSI, divergence on the MACD histogram. Hmm. UUP. Now for the fun stuff. Um, pretty inverse hammer. Uh, stochastic ticking up, RSI ticking up to neutral, MACD trying to figure out what to do with itself, if it's going to get cross or not, 
and MACD histogram taken down. This one is NDE driven completely, so technicals do not matter nearly as much. If we get resolution to the euro and the debt ceiling, um, we'll have to see what it does. We do have an inverse hammer. We had a spinning top on Friday, so we'll be watching to see what it does. FXE, good correlation. Hammer after the spinning top on Friday. Um, stochastic ticking up, RSI ticking down, MACD histogram ticking up, MACD not even close to across. So, once again, we don't know. We'll have to see. Maybe the hammer will do something. Um, if it goes up, that'll be good for the markets. So, who knows? GLD. Massively strong continuation candle gap. Stochastic pointing up, RSI pointing up, histogram and MACD pointing up. Did I call this a MACD RSI? <laughs> Anyways, um, we still have excessive separation. Notice that it is uniform though at the moment, and we have no wobble. This is very strong. Once we have resolution to the problems, um, I would expect this to go down and test the bar. Or at the minimum do a bubble correction but until we have some sort of resolution I guess this one's just going to keep going on its merry way SLV nice move spinning top don't like them above the upper Bollinger Band Ugh, another warning sign we have wobble on short-term moving averages we have extreme expansion on the short-term moving averages uh, this is not uh, attractive uh, good move nonetheless I mean big gap uh, stochastic pointing up, RSI pointing up, MACD and MACD histogram pointing up. So, looks good. I don't trust it for a moment, but uh, there it is. Um, there isn't uh, too much to say beyond all of this, I don't think. Um, oh, there's one other thing I can look at. Oh, it's not going to cooperate. Blah. Sorry about this. SPY. <laughs> okay, I may not be able to do this. I'll try one more time. Here we are. SPY, uh, ETF of SPX. I just find it kind of interesting that even with all of this down movement and everything, we are starting to get buy volume. The uh, volume has turned to green, so this is getting bought, but it's just not enough to stop it. So, does this mean that they are buying it prior to a bounce? Uh, it's anyone's interpretation, but uh, we shall have to see. I just thought that that was interesting. As always, all investing decisions are your own. This chart and video are for entertainment, educational, and consumption of time purposes only. Thank you.